Hey everyone, it's Martha. I know I haven't done a video in a while, so I just wanted to do one really quick and show you several projects that I've been working on. Um, I've been blogging about all of these, but um, I don't usually do a video on each individual project, so I just thought I'd combine them all and do one video for you. So, this is a 12 by 12 layout that I did um, using the Prima Pastiche paper. And this is my new favorite paper line, I have to say. I absolutely am crazy about it. So, um, there's the layout. The picture is um, when my son was three weeks old. And this is my hand and my husband's hand. And we were just holding his little feet. Look at how tiny they are. Oh my goodness, it goes so fast. Uh, anyways, um, I don't want to get all emotional on you guys. Um, here are some Prima flowers, lots of Prima bling. Um, this is actually some of the packaging from Prima flowers that I threw in there. Um, this is a journaling spot from the Prima pastiche collection. Um, I doubled up the lace, um, and this is all Prima lace. This is pretty much an all Prima layout. It was really fun. So there's that one. Um, I have another 12 by 12 layout that I did. This is of my niece, Autumn. Um, she was just doing this goofy face in this pic in this um, photo, so I had to scrapbook it. It's so cute. So I titled it Silly Sweetheart, and I just um, kind of ruffled up some late, um, ribbon on the edge, lots of primas and some cute buttons. Um, this background paper is my mind's eye, as well as this polka dot paper. And then this one is from the Prima Shabby Chic collection. And there's a Tattered Angels chip piece um, flourish in the background that I I used iridescent gold and I just used some um, Tim Holtz um, Distress Ink. Um, it's one of the pink ones. I can't remember what it's called, but um, the pink ink to kind of distress the edges up a little bit. So there's that layout. Um, here's a little journal I made. This is using the Mariposa paper. Um, I've had, I've been sitting on this paper forever and I love it and I just, I don't know why I had never used it before. So I just decided to do a little journal. There's the back with the fleur-de-lis. And it says Dream with the Tim Holtz adage ticket. And, um, some Primas again. I love the Camelot flowers. And some pretty lace. And here's a little Webster's Pages. Um, embellishment, and then it's blank on the inside. I haven't started writing in it or journaling yet. So there's that little book, pretty cute. Um, I kind of was playing around with a, a wall hanging, and so I took this um, butterfly-shaped chipboard piece, and I just covered it with Prima paper again. I think this is the shabby chic paper, though and use lots of flowers and um, some lace on the background there and lots of Prima bling as well so again like an all Prima project here but I love it there's a little bit close up for you so this is kind of fun so I just attached a ribbon and I just hang it on my wall in my scrap room by my desk so that was fun and this is my latest um, project. This, I call this a mommy journal. Um, just for all the special um, the special day-to-day -day things that I want to write down about my son and how I'm feeling about um, his growing up and, and everything that's happening. So um, I just wanted to make a cute little journal. Again, Prima flowers. I doubled up the lace here. Prima um, pearls and roses. Um, the Tim Holtz ornate plate and then this is all the Mariposa paper again from DCWV so on the inside I just have a little picture but this isn't really a photo album but I can I can add pictures in if I want because um, I made enough pages to add pictures um, here's a little pocket page I made so if you know he draws me a picture or something I can throw it in the pocket and so I did both um, both the designer paper and cardstock in this and just filled it up. And so this is where I can add pictures if I need to. And so that's the, that's the little journal. And the back is just 
the designer paper again. So that was fun. So I just want to remind you guys to check out my blog. It's lakeavenuedesigns.blogspot.com because um, I do a lot of projects that I don't do videos on. So um, come over and check it out, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.